Let's find your perfect match for 2017. Hi everyone and Happy New Year! If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome! Otherwise, welcome back if you've been here before. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about four different mats, so let's get right to it! If you're just starting out, you don't have to have the best mat ever. You just have to start. It doesn't make financial sense to buy an ultra deluxe expensive mat if you don't even know if yoga is something that you'll like and stick with. So start with using studio mats, a towel, the grass, the beach, or even dollar store mats. And when you're committed to practicing, invest in a good mat. I'd recommend a darker color so stains won't be so obvious. And if it's new, spray and wipe your mat because they sometimes have a slippery coating from the manufacturer. Today I'll be comparing the B mat. I have the strong, which is their thickest version. I'll also be talking about Lululemon's The Mat and The Unmat. Their current editions are called the Reversible Mat and the Reversible Unmat. And finally, I'll be talking about Manduka Eco Super Light. The Unmat and Superlight are both travel mats. The reversible mat collection by Lululemon is what they have in stores now, and one of the sides has a surface, same to what I have here. The mat comes in at about 5-ish pounds, so if you're traveling a lot, it might not be such a good idea. It has an atrocious new mat smell. I got a headache just from being next to somebody who had a new mat from Lululemon. It personally took me months of wiping it down with water and vinegar mixture just to get rid of the smell. I find this mat grippy enough, I've used it for hot yoga, but some of my friends have reported slipping. So try the other side, it is more textured. They offer longer and wider mats for the taller people, as well as travel mats. One of the cons that I experienced through using this mat is that the surface tends to scruff up and stain very easily. I'll get back to this idea a little bit later on when I talk about the unmat. The newest generation of mats also come in very pretty patterns and colors, so I'd highly recommend checking them out. Here's a side shot of the mat. It comes in at 5mm thick, which is super awesome if you need extra padding. The Be Mat Strong is my favorite mat ever, but like the Lululemon, it is heavy AF, so it lives at home. It definitely won the new matte smell test. It was there, but it wasn't headache inducing and overpowering. To give you an idea, the first time I used it, it was outside on a hot sunny day. All of the bee mats have super grippy textures, so none of the friends that I've recommended it to have experienced slipping. Unfortunately, it means that it also attracts dust like crazy because it's so sticky. But all you need to do is wipe it down with some water and vinegar mixture. It's the same surface on both sides, so I guess, like the Lululemon, it is reversible. It also comes in long and wide formats, as well as the travel mat option. However, the travel mats do not fold as much as they advertise that it does. It does not fold very nicely. My mat is 6mm, which is a little bit thicker than Lululemon's, but it also comes in 4mm as well as 2mm. And now, travel mats. I take the bus and subway all the time, so it's important that I'm carrying a lightweight mat. The Lululemon travel mat is about 2 pounds, with similar properties to their thicker mat. Unfortunately, it doesn't fold, so I still have some problems navigating the subway system. It is my choice for hot yoga because I find it grippy enough. The only exception is when I have giant puddles of sweat, in which case I simply wipe it down and I'm good to go. This is a shot of the staining, keeping in mind that I do wipe after every use and take fairly good care of my mats. And I know it's a light color and somewhat expected, but I've actually seen this prominently in some of the darker colored mats as well. Here are some shots of the scruff marks on my mat. I really do take care of my mats, I don't know where these came from. Please also note that these are super up close shots, so they're not that bad in person. This is a thinner mat made for traveling, so if you do need that extra cushioning, this is not the mat for you. My favorite travel mat is the Manduka Eco Super Light. It comes in at around 2.2 pounds, so it's super light. One of the things that I had to get over was the funny smell. Now, after you use it, it makes your hands and feet smell, and I guess whichever parts touch the mat, and it takes several washes with soap to get it out. And it's not a horrible smell, it's just a really weird smell. This is my favorite mat to commute with because it can fold into my backpack and it's way less awkward on the subway system. 
Unfortunately, it's extremely slippery when wet, so I can't take it to hot yoga unless I want my downward dogs to turn into planks when the instructor tells you to stay in your dog pose. So it goes without saying that it is okay for regular yoga classes unless you're a profuse sweater. This mat is thinner than the Lululemon and it comes in at 1.5 millimeters thick. Lastly, it is a little bit easy to bunch up, especially if the ends catch on your toes. Here is the side view so you can see how thin it is. One of the benefits of choosing a thinner mat is finding more balance. It allows you to connect to the earth and find groundedness much easier than one of the thick plushy mats. Here you can see how I folded it. Now no matter how often I try, I can't get it to look like what it looks like on their website. So this is from Amazon and this one's from Manduka.com. It looks like they've ironed it or something. Well, in my opinion, this is still better than this. I mean, come on, that's not folding. And when you unfold it, there's virtually no creases. And look, there's barely any staining compared to the Lululemon. This mat has been used more as well as used outdoors. So that's saying something. That's all I have for now. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a huge thumbs up. I would appreciate it. As well, please subscribe to my channel.